All right, guys, if you want to go ahead and refresh your browser, your the listening practice, the questions now should appear. All right, and I'm going to... Teacher. Yes. Eh, eh, la siguiente semana volveremos a hacer este listening practice. Yes, so let me explain um, let me explain how I'm going to grade the listening and how we're going to do the listening for the entire semester. So in teacher ease, I'm going to create four separate assignments for listening. All right, so you'll receive a grade for listening for unit one. There'll be a second assignment for listening for unit two and also for units three and four. Okay, so in teacher ease for the listening, which is part of your grade for this class, right? I think it's 40% of your grade will come from listening. So you'll receive four grades in one. It'll be titled for unit one, unit two, unit three, and unit four. Now, each unit... Every week, we're going to have listening practice, all right? So last Thursday was our first listening practice. Today was our second. So each Thursday at 12, basically 12.10, right, uh, we'll have a listening practice. The way that I'll grade your listening is I will take the highest grade that you get for each of your attempts within each unit. So let's say, for example, last week you had a higher grade than today. Well, I'll keep I'll keep that grade for unit one. Next week, if you get a higher grade than unit than the first listening practice, I'll raise your grade. Right. So your grade can't go down; it can only go up with each of your attempts within each unit. So. If we have four attempts per unit, I'll take the highest grade. Now, if you miss a class, you're just missing an opportunity. Okay, so if you miss today, you took last week's practice, right? We'll have basically one more. Um, I got to check again the, the dates, but you'll basically just miss the attempts within each of the units that we have right, for each unit. All right, so we had basically two attempts. We had one last Thursday. I think we had another one on Monday. We had one today. And we'll have our next one next Thursday. And each week, every Thursday, we'll have an attempt uh, for your listening review. And just make every effort to, to be here. If you miss one, you still have three other opportunities for your grade. Okay, does that make sense? Sí, profe, es que yes. acabo de, de, de venir de la vacuna, entonces no hice este listen en practice de hoy, por eso preguntaba. Acabo de llegar, entré a la clase y estaba en medio del, de la práctica. Esa era mi duda para ver si lo puedo volver a hacer. Okay, but we'll have another attempt next Thursday. And that, that, that will be okay. your attempt. And, you know, that if you had one attempt last Monday or last Thursday and then a second one last Monday and then next Thursday, that's basically three attempts. And I'll take the highest grade of those three attempts in that, in that situation, in that case. Okay? Is that... Do you see what I mean? Yes, I mean. Thank you. Teacher. Okay. All right, guys, make sure you've submitted your responses. Let me check my numbers here. All right, we've got about 33 responses. All right. So let me close that. So for the rest of today, for our classes for today, let me go back to Trello. 
And let me go back to Microsoft Teams for week three. All right, so today, I want to spend the rest of today giving you some time to complete, if you haven't already, to complete the task that we started yesterday called time management. That's going to be our focus this week, how we can manage our time and in a way that helps us get basically everything done that we need to, right? Including school, maybe we have work commitments, maybe we have other commitments uh, with family, for example. So this is our task that I want to continue with today. If you have not completed it, you can access, again, this card here to get the information that we talked about yesterday. You can also access the links by going to the attachments within Trello, within this card. In Microsoft Teams, these are the two documents that I'm going to ask everyone to complete. Now, the file that's called Participation Register some have already done this. I'm going to ask everyone to include the link to your video. I don't think we talked about this yesterday, but Team 3 and Team 4 have done this already, and I think that's a good idea. So I'm going to ask the other teams, Team 1, Team 2, Team 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, to please include a link, much like how Team 3 and Team 4 have done here, so that if I click here, it takes me directly to the video. I think that's I think that's a good thing to do. All right. So this will take me right to the video and I'll be able to check out the video. The video will be in your breakout rooms, of course, but this makes it that much easier. I'm gonna test the link here, and it looks like both links are are good links. So that would be I guess the last step. Remember to include the timestamps. Now, the timestamps should be specific to the individual. All right, so let's look at team one. All right, so team one, this looks reasonable. This looks uh, like probably it should because they all have different start times because they're not all speaking at the same time. So in your presentation, although there could be some conversation back and forth, try to set up designated times that each person is to, to speak. And, and that's how I would try to include that here. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact. I mean, if someone is bringing it, saying something just briefly while someone else is speaking, right? you don't have to put every single time, start and end time. But generally, each person should have their own Time that they should that they speak and that's what you can include here at the start and ending time these and you can get the stamps just by looking at the video and whenever someone starts to speak just look at the time these are seconds and then minutes right so um, this is the idea here team two I think has the idea I'm not sure about the ending time but yeah, more or less the starting time is understood that this is when each person begins speaking in the video. All right. So same way with team three. Okay, this looks, this is the idea here. Okay, this is the idea. We got to start a beginning time and then ending time. And then this team member picks up start time, ending time. Yeah, so this is like, this is what it, probably will look like something like this. But uh, team four, I would take another look here at that. Team five, again, yeah, I don't know, maybe take a look at this. Again, I think for me, the logical, something like this is, is fairly logical where each person is speaking primarily and there's a start and ending time for each person. Team six, okay. Yeah, team seven, take a look at that. Maybe you're still working on this, and, and that's fine. Team eight, take a look. So 
I want to give everyone today to continue working on this. And I'm going to ask everyone to create a link, much like, in fact, just like team two and three. Now team one, it looks like they're there. And maybe include the link in the same row as the title. So like team two has their link here. Team three here, that's good. That's what I would do. Team four, that's what I would do. Maybe team six, you can move it up here on the same line, line 29 and so on. That's what I... That's what I would do. And team five, what you can do, right, is to type in the word link here on row 24. Just type it out. And then select the word and click insert link. And then copy and paste. What I always do is I remove this HTTP. And then I copy and paste that really long URL. I copy and paste it into this box and then click OK. And then that's how you can insert a link like they've done here, teams two, three, and four, and six. But yeah, I think I would include it here along the same line as your heading for each of your teams. All right, so this is what I'd like to for us to work on. I'm, I'll go ahead and... Um, I'll go ahead and mute my mic. I'll be here if you guys want to jump in or if you want me to come into your breakout rooms to talk to the whole team. If you have a question, uh, we can do that now. And we will continue this way until we close the class. We'll come back or reconvene at 1.40 and uh, give you another opportunity if you have any other questions before we close for today. All right, guys? Yes, teacher. All right, teacher. All right, guys, so Today we're going to do a speak kind of air message or messages you're still getting so that I can try it requires you uh teacher what the twice and then we'll give you two minutes, and then we'll begin with the first person at random. All right, here we go. Uh, also, I'm sorry, to uh, when you're presenting, also please activate your camera so we can see your lovely faces. All right, guys, here we go. Here's your question. Do you prefer a profession that requires you to work in a group? Okay, everyone, it is 1.40. Uh, Mauricio, it looks like your hand's raised. I don't know if you have a question. Yes, well, I have a question about uh, the grade of the podcast in teacher is, and I I look at this, and it says that, well, my, my, my grade is uh, 0 of 20, so I have that question. That... All right, so the... The podcast, make sure that there are no comments in the roster page, the Excel spreadsheet that we started at the beginning of the semester where you list your podcast. Make sure that there are no comments from me about your link. If I did leave a comment and you changed the link, uh, let me know that you changed the link so I can go back and and uh, check it all right um, that would be the first thing but make sure that when you make changes to the roster file that you let me know so i can go back and take another look if there's no comments or there's no issues send me a chat 
In fact, anytime you have a question about your grade, send me a, a chat in Teams and I'll try to clarify or I'll take another look at the, the situation. Okay, but you think okay. let me take it. All right. Okay, guys, I think we'll stop there for today. Remember, tomorrow we're going to have another speaking practice. I'm going to try to get into the room five minutes before class. Uh, I would recommend that all of you try to get in a few minutes before because I, I want to start right at 12 o'clock so that, that we have enough time to get to everyone's uh, speaking. Okay, so tomorrow we'll have another speaking practice and uh, try for tomorrow to complete the task if you haven't already. And everyone has until Sunday to complete your podcast for week three. All right, guys, we'll stop there, and uh, we'll see everybody uh, tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. You too. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Have a nice day.